Beach, and today we are going to take five YouTube hop, and we are, um, on my page today, we are doing a cross out of a, re a um, upcycled canvas that I got from Hobby Lobby that we're going to redo, and we're going to use some jute twine to make a cross on it. And all of that good stuff up after me in this hop is Funky Junk Inspiration. You can find her in my description along with everybody else that is in this event today. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. But today on my page here, or my channel, we are going to um, do a cross on a canvas using twine. So... I am doing a new way of going live. I am vertical on YouTube, and hopefully this works out good. I don't know how you guys see me. I see me really up close, so let me know um, if you like this better than the other way that I go. Let's see. I've got a whole thing up with the chat. Let's see here. Make sure I have everything right. And then make sure after me you go into my description at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and Funky Junk Inspiration will be right up on her page. And we'll just keep going with that all day until our last presenter. Um, so we also have a Take 5 group over on Facebook. So join us over there if you're not there. All right, let me see. What we're going to start with, I have some paints here that are not... Um, chalk paints so that is what I'm gonna use to paint this but I'm gonna turn I'm gonna put some baking soda in it I have light mocha and I have beach comer comer beige I have a hard time with that word so we're gonna get a little tiny red solo cup for each of them and we're gonna mix some paint with some baking soda mm -hmm. so far I'm not seeing comments if you're on, so um, don't think that I am ignoring you. Alright, so I'm just adding a little bit, like a half of this, what is this? This is a half teaspoon and I did half of that. So we put that in there and then I'm just going to add some um, of each of the paint in the cup. Well, I'm just going to take the lid off because that's not working out very good. So this one is light mocha. And this is apple barrel matte acrylic paint. This is a uh, gloss. So I didn't recognize that when I picked it up, but it'll be okay. We're going to add the baking soda to it and it'll help that out. Hello, Melanie. I see comments now. <laughs> I was like, hopefully somebody comes on so I can see how different this looks. So, so far, so good. All right, so we're mixing the paint in with the baking soda. I'll probably need some more paint. I just wanted to start out with a little bit. Which one was this? Yes, this is it. And this way, I'm making my own sort of like chalk paint. Adding the baking soda in there. It'll make it a little thicker. And that's what we're wanting. Alright, so we got that one. I'm going to add a little bit more of the light mocha in. This one's already pretty thick. I think the difference in the acrylics, if you get the matte, it's a little thicker than if you get the gloss. I've noticed that, so... If you like the thicker and you don't like a bunch of glossiness on your paint, go with the matte. But I'm still going to add the baking soda in here just to thicken it up some more. Yeah, I'm experimenting today. It's a chemistry experiment. Alright, I also have some spackle here. This is lightweight spackle. It won't crack or um, let's see, won't shrink or crack, no sanding required, all that good stuff. I mixed in some of the light mocha into that. 
so it's colored and we'll be using that as well. First thing we're going to do is just paint our canvas. And this canvas again was on sale at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I got it for a couple dollars. So I got them a bunch of them just to redo how I want them to be. Because I wouldn't hang this on my wall, even though it's nice. It's just not my not my kind of thing. I'm gonna start with the slider color. And cover up some of this dark down here. Couldn't find out how to comment. Is it different? I know it's vertical. I don't know how it looks to you guys. It asked, it told me the recommended way was vertical, which was odd to me, but okay. That's the way I went. <laughs> so this paint has baking soda in it, so it's gonna cover a little bit better, be a little thicker. And I just wanted to get this black mostly off of here. I wasn't digging the black on the background. And go on the sides too. It looks different, but better. Good. Um, I did the YouTube live today instead of using my StreamYard app. So I wanted to see how it worked out. And I think that it's a little bit better for me to be able to see. I can see comments on there and everything when I use my look on my computer for some reason for comments. So I'm loving it. Right, I'm not worried about too much of coverage on the side. I'm just going all the way with it. some different color in the background anyway. So today we're working on a cross. It's Good Friday, so I figured what better day to try this project, right? I can hear my dog barking in the background. I hope that you guys can't. <laughs> Apparently my husband's not letting her in the door. He's doing yard work, so. All right, so I left some white up at the top. I just wanted it to kind of blend up. I'm not too worried about it. All right, let me sit this over here. You don't hear her? Good. Had to grab the phone to find me. Alright, I had to wipe some of that off. I went a little too high. I'm going to add a little texture down here. With my paper towel, because I don't want it to be too perfect, you know. And we're gonna take some of our darker color down here at the bottom. She's just a barking. I don't know how you can't hear. <laughs> I need a walkie-talkie to tell my husband to let her in. You're watching the iPad, so have the black bars on each side, but you could still see. That's how it looks on my computer as well. Um, on my phone, it's very up close. And a lot of people watch on their phones, so that's good. But next time I'll try it the other way and see how that looks. I'm just tapping this darker color on because I don't want too, too much of it. I just wanted it kind of to gradually go up lighter. And 
and I can still see some of that black coming through, but I'm fine with that because it gives the dimension, the texture to it that I like. I'll make it a little darker down here. Most of this will be covered with our cross and florals, so it's just making a little background. All right, I'm gonna dry this. So, we don't really have any plans for Easter. It is Easter weekend and it kind of crept up on us. Um, so we haven't made any plans as of yet. My kids are all a little too big to do the Easter egg hunts and stuff now, so it's all different. A little bit different. And I'm the one who used to, you know, plan all the Easter gatherings for my side of the family. So now that my kids are little, somebody else needs to pick that part back up, right? That's what I say. Somebody else's turn. All right, so this is how we're looking so far. I'm still seeing a little bit too much of that dark up top, I think. So I'm going to try to add. I'm going to. I'm not going to do anything. A little bit more paint on there. I thought I was liking it, but I really would rather it not be there. Just playing around and getting your background how you like it. Something darker in there. Kind of this, this color is a little too dark for my liking, but. It's okay. Once it got dry, it looked a little better. And now that texture is already there from my brush, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. Add more texture. Let's get it to blend in and go up. Alright, so there's what we have. It's just a little bit too abrupt up here, so I'm going to try to make it blend into that white a little bit. My laptop keeps going off. Alright, let's try it one more time, and then we'll add the spackle texture. So if you're new watching here, I am Mary, and this is The Painted Peach, and we have a group called Take Five over on Facebook, and right now, once a month, we come over here to YouTube and do a hop where everybody goes live only on YouTube. So everybody is listed in my description, all of the channels. I'd love it if you'd join them all, um, subscribe to them hit the bell notification, all that good stuff, and um, you'll get notified when they go live. And same for me. That would be great. All right, so we have this, and it's very textured, but I want a little bit more texture. We're gonna play around with, and this is Spackle that I've put some of this um, light mocha and a little bit of baking soda in there, not too much, just to thicken it up. And I'm just going to take some of that out, and we are going to add it in different areas onto, I don't want it too thick, onto our canvas, just to give the impression 
with this being one of those textured canvases that people make. It doesn't have to be too much in the center because we're going to put a cross there. I just kind of want to drag it down and get it in a little bit different areas here and there. And it doesn't have to be like super thick. You can scrape some off if it gets too, too much going on. You don't need to put any there. I'm gonna try to get some on the corners. I mean the, what are these called? The edges. And I meant to use my headphones today, y'all. I can't remember everything. I was gonna test them out on here as well, but maybe it's good I'm only testing one thing at a time, right? <laughs> Baby steps, baby steps. I think I wanted to make some lighter of this. I wonder if I add some lighter paint into this mixture I already have. We'll do that and see if we can get some of the white in here. It's all the same color. Let's try. Let's try. I've got some plaster from Waverly. We're gonna pour some of that in here. I just bought this yesterday. Let me not spill it all over myself. We're gonna to try to put some, a little bit lighter in here. Big truck going by, I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's loud. So I just poured it in. We're gonna grab a little craft stick. If I can pick it up, mix that in there. Try to get a lighter, lighter color going. Get some more in there. Now with this, I can just close it up really good and keep it for other projects. As long as I seal it really well, it'll be good. All right, it's a little bit lighter now. That's better. I'm going to add some more baking soda into it. I don't know if it helps anything, but we're going to try just to try to thicken it up some. Since I put more paint in there. All right, it's a little wetter this time, so I'm gonna, I'm going to try to be a little more careful of placement. I'm just, I'm just holding it like this and dragging. And I'm just dipping. I'm not like scooping up, I'm just dragging it. I don't want a straight line like that. I'm gonna go sideways with it a little bit, break it up. All right, so this is what we have so far. It looks crazy right now. It's not gonna matter um, once we get this cross on here. Most of that you won't even see probably, but I want to make sure we get some up here. It's kind of like making a textured wall. If you've ever done that. into that more Melanie how did you hmm, we're gonna have to talk about that a little bit <laughs> lots to learn about this platform over here 
but I'm ready for it. All right, I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to bring some over here just in case anything is seen. I'm sorry if that noise stresses you a little bit. It is me. <laughs> just saying. All right, I'm going to close this up really well, and I'm going to... Afterwards, I'm going to put some Ceram Wrap in there and close it. Um, that way it won't dry out. Let me get this brush and get some of this paint that's dripping off my bottle. Can't be wasting that. Okay. Let's dry this a bit. Now, this plaster probably won't dry right away. We'll have to work around that and try not to get it on our twine. This, usually I would do this like the day before and let it dry overnight and then continue on. But for the sake of being on here live, we can't do that. So we're just gonna try to speed it up a little bit with our dryer as much as we can in the areas that we know we're gonna put the cross at least. Yeah, it's very textured. This is, I'm somebody who doesn't like to feel texture, but I love to look at texture. Is that weird? Like, I have a thing about touching textures or hearing them being touched, but the look of them, I just love it. And it's okay if you dry this and it starts cracking a little bit from the intense heat, because that's just going to add to your texture. It's going to make it look like you meant to do that, right? Just want to make sure it's dry enough to start doing our twine. And I think this will be something that I end up hanging in my house because I'm already loving it. <laughs> Some of your projects you just can't part with. All right, it is getting dry. Just wanna make sure in these areas, like the top and the bottom and the sides, right here in the middle, where we're gonna put the cross, going across are dry. And I'm really sad this part's probably gonna get covered. I don't know how high up I'm gonna go with my cross yet, but I'm going to try to go above some of that because it's pretty. what we have so far there's lots of texture going on looks way different on camera than it does to me it's so much darker here yes I loved that hey Christy there's Christy she's up next <clears throat> in our hop today so make sure you in my description her link is in there and you can hop right on over to her when I'm done you loving it good I'm loving it too Still a little bit wet on this. Let me get this part right here so I don't mess it up. I'm just going to try to be really careful when I start doing this cross. So how we're going to do this is we are going to use twine. And I'm going to start by gluing a piece to the back. And this canvas has a little place right here that I can do that. I don't want to mess up my front, so I'm just going to take some hot glue. You can use whatever glue you have, and we're going to start with a little daub of glue right there and use our twine to make our cross. I don't know where my little finger is. Here, I'll use this that in there. I don't want to 
cool on that too quick. Let me let it cool for a minute. And when you think you have enough twine wrapped, think again. You need the more you have, the better it's going to look. I mean, you don't want to overdo it, but um, you do want to have enough on there to make a nice thick top and bottom. Now, I'm going to end up taking this hanger off of here probably. Let me see if I have my little screwdriver over here. Mm -hmm. Should have done that before I got on here. If not, it's okay. I'll, I'll just go right over it. It's no big deal. We'll just leave it. All right, so what we're gonna do is try to go as straight as we can and do our crisscrossing in the back more. That way we have some straight lines. We're just gonna start wrapping. think we're in a good spot too so problem is this ball move in cups. needs to be in my lap I think here let me pull some of this off pull it off Hopefully, that'll be enough to get started here. So you're just going to keep wrapping and try to keep it as straight as you can. I pressed it a little bit right there. And as close as you can. wanted my background to be neutral because we're going to add some color in on top of the cross. So I didn't want to take away from that with any color in my background. Hey Jeannie. Thanks for hopping on the hop. <laughs> I'm going to start using the play for words like Wendy was doing. <laughs> She's cracking me up. Hop on over to the next person in this YouTube hop. All right, this, this is definitely not enough. Once you get here, you just want to keep going. You think you're going to have enough, but you want to make it a lot thicker. And I need to pull out some more twine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make it thicker down here. And in the middle, we are going to cinch it so that it goes in. If you get my drift. If I had glasses on, I could see on my phone. I wouldn't have to keep looking down. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I should be watching the camera, but it's so hard to see on the phone. I'm going to pull out as much of this as I can so I don't have to keep doing this. And this doesn't go with my little rolly thing. I need to get another one that fits that so it'll just... I can just use that and pull it right off. But things can't be that easy for me sometimes. All right, that crisscrossed. I want to get it straight. And you don't have to be that particular about it being straight. I'm just doing it because that's the way I want it to look. <laughs> Surfing right beside you. <laughs> we. All right. get enough over here I'll probably crisscross it in the back and get some more on this side so it's even you could have started on this side and went over it's up to you how you do it I'm just going with the flow here today so we'll see how it works out gonna go over to the other side so I'm gonna crisscross in the back I'm gonna go across and go to the other side and come down that way your crisscrosses are back there hidden and you don't have it all crazy looking in the front nice and neat
time is it? I'm doing good. I was thinking I was running out of time. I gotta pull some more of this off. I need a different method of this part. I think if I had this in a bowl or something on the ground and pulled it kind of like if you were crocheting, if you put this in one of those bowls, it'll just roll. But I didn't think ahead like that. Now, in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking, should I cinch this part before I do the crisscross and then cinch the crisscross? Or should I do them both at the same time? I think I'll do this cinched up and then we'll do the one going across cinched up. Now it's getting tangled. <laughs> That's the problem with undoing your twine. Don't need tangles. Definitely want to go wider. I may end up crisscrossing back over, which is fine. You can keep going back and forth until you get it as thick as you want. This side. Put it in a jar with a lid. I would if I had a big enough jar. Um, the mouth of the jar wouldn't be big enough for my twine to go in, the one I have sitting here. But that is a good idea. I have my friend Kim. Um, that does clay work. I had asked her to make me a crochet bowl. I think she forgot about it though. I'm gonna have to message her back because I get really irritated with my yarn coming, you know, getting all tangled and stuff. So one of those little yarn bowls with the little lip that you put your yarn through would be great. And it'd be also great for this. For sure. And I think after this, we will cinch that in and see how it looks. I know this part is time consuming and probably not the funnest part to watch. I think that's going to be good. So what I'm going to do is bring it around, snip it off. Glue it. I'm going to tie it on here and glue it. Pull it as tight as you can. <clears throat> Without trying, anyway. Tying with one finger. Get in. I might just glue it. I was going to try to tie and glue. We're not doing that. Let's just glue it. I was trying to give it a little bit more security, but it'll be fine. We're just going to glue it into the other strings. can pull it in wherever you think you want your cross to go across. I think I want mine right there. And you're going to get another piece of string and tie that area. You could also use a stapler if you're using wood. Um, you can glue it in. Whatever you think will work best. I'm thinking that cinching it with another piece of twine is the way that would be easiest. You could probably put this on beforehand instead of being silly like me. 
and grab it. All right, so how far up do we think about right there for the cross? I think that is about the right place, in my opinion. Or is it too high? No, I think it's good. I'm going to go there. I'm just going to tie it, cinch it in, and tie it. And then I'm going to cut those two little extra pieces. I'm going to secure it with just the tad of glue. And then we're going to start the one going across. And I got paint on this. Let me clip it off. I need to move this paint jar. It's a mess from pouring it. There we go. Now, when you do this part, it's not going to matter that it's covering up the other side because we're going to put florals and stuff in between there. So it's going to be okay. Don't, I've still got paint on this thing. My word. It'll be all right. Look, I got paint on my twine. Every little thing's going to be all right. So the way I'm going to glue this would be to these pieces because it's not in the middle, of course. So I'm just going to glue my twine right on to my canvas here. Where is my little... We're gonna start going across just like we did going up and down. It's taking some concentration from me for some reason. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't want to go too far down this way. I'm going more up. I need this to be out of my way. My computer keeps going off, you guys. And you can see some of my texture is falling off and that's fine. We're not worried about that. I'm going to crisscross in the back and go up to the front, to the top, whatever it's called. Now, I may change my mind later and want to add some color in that background, and it's fine. You can always do that later. Just let your paint and your spackle dry really well and go back and add some more color to it. It may be a little too neutral for my liking. Of course, my husband's decided to drive around right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. rolling all over the place down there, but it'll be okay. Hmm. I don't like that piece. Looks like they tied it together right here. Stick that behind there. messed up.
This would be good for a short video going in fast motion, right? Get through this part really quick. Watch me go wee 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 wee. <laughs> got so much um, texture flaking off onto my pants right now. It's hilarious. My black pants are covered in texture. Tan texture. But I do think this is a perfect craft for an hour segment because it's going to take us the full hour, I think, to get it done. What do y'all think? Perfect. Perfect time. Just, I've been doing pretty good at timing my hour crafts lately. All right, I think I'm going to go down with it again. Get some more on this side so we have something to bring up. Excited to see what everybody else is doing in the hop. If you missed Wendy before me, you can go back and watch her um, on her channel. She was doing a cute little frog, hence the hop that she kept uh, referencing. That was cute. All right, what do we think? I want to go a little wider. I think that's good. I'm going to stop there and we're going to glue it to the back. I'm going to glue first and then cut. If I had my little pink finger thing I could put my finger on here. I almost cut the one up there. That wouldn't have been good. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to scrunch it in and tie it off. I've got glue on me. Thank you. I hope it turns out beautiful. Now getting this through is the fun part. Just gonna pull and tie it off. So, so far, this is what we have. You could leave it at that. I'm not going to. I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery. And I do have, I got these words from Hobby Lobby last year and we've got forgiven which i think i want to use we've got rejoice blessed am i backwards i guess i am um risen and another blessed so i think i want to use forgiven on it so once i get um my flowers figured out i think i'm going to hang it like this i was going to put it on here i think hanging it like a tag would be cute Cute, cute. So the flowers I have up here, I've got some purple and then I have some greenery. I also have these out, but I'm not sure yet on these. These are from the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. And you guys, while we're talking about the Dollar Tree, let me show you these stamps that I picked up yesterday. They had new stamps. So we have these. We have these. I'm trying not to get that light in there. Some textures and little swirlies. And some letters. And then this one's a little odd. It has a guitar, a cowboy with a horse, the word farm, some sneakers, and a barn. I don't know how they all play together, but yeah. I picked all those up. I thought they were super cute. So we'll see what we use them for. This kind of feels like it's not centered to me, but we're going with it. We're going with it. 
All right, so I'm going to start with adding a little bit of greenery. We're not going to put too much on here because um, we don't want to overpower the cross, really. We just want to make it a little fancier, a little bit prettier. Yeah, those are such cool stamps. I thought that was, because um, every time I go there, they have the same old stamps, and I finally seen some new stuff. I went there looking for... Um, went there looking for the carrot cutouts and the bunny cutouts that everybody's been using. They were really thick wood and I thought they were something I could use for next year, but of course my Dollar Tree never got them and my Dollar Tree was wiped out. Nothing left. So there's that too. All right, I'm thinking just adding a little bit on each side like that and then possibly using these flowers. I'm not too sure about the colors of these though. I'm just not too much of a fan. I don't know what this whole green, that is super green right there. Um, I don't know, they're kind of pretty, but I think I need three if I use them. So I'm going to get the other pack, whatever I did with them. And we're going to put the other pack. Hmm. You guys see where I put the other pack? <laughs> Here we go. Always losing something. There they are. Goodness. Let's see. So do you think I should do too white or too colored? Maybe do the white and the two. I don't really like it with just the same colors though. That's the part I don't. I don't think I should do two. <laughs> it's kind of hard to. I don't really want the two colors beside each other, though, so that's hard. I wish I had three different colors. Let's get this greenery on here. And maybe we'll go from there. I'm just going to use hot glue because this is going in my house. It's not going to be outside or anything. I'm just going to hot glue them on. and hope for the best. I do have a real pretty little bedazzly thing that we could put on there. Let me look for that. Where did I put that bag that I brought out here? Mm, this stuff came out of that bag. Did I throw it away? I might not have brought it in. Now that just stinks. That would have been pretty. All right, let's just keep going. Can you stain the white one? Hmm, let me think while I'm doing this. Let me think. Possibly, if we have time, I will try to stain it with some ink. That I have up here, I need. Here it is. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah, because I really don't want it that color. I mean, I want three different colors, you know? Would look better. In my personal opinion, anyway. I just have an issue with things not being symmetrical, I guess. Personal preference, you know. All right, so let's see. I got glue all over my fingers. It'll be okay.
I really love these. These came from Walmart, you guys. How pretty are they? I just want to make a vase full of them. I wish I, I'd go stick them in my yard and make it look like um, they're growing there, right? Fake everybody out. i got about 10 minutes. I'm hoping that I have time to do that. Let me try to get these on here quickly. If not, maybe I'll just make a little short stain in the flower and share it on here. What color should I stain it though? Um, that's the problem. I could do like a I'm not sure how good it'll work out, but it's worth a try, right? We have maybe this color. have too many inks that are springy besides green. I've got a yellow that would probably be a lot lighter than that. I've got an orange, but that's already orange. Let's try this. What about this blue color? Y'all think that's not good? A light lavender. I don't have a lavender ink. I have paste. Let's try it with paste. Let's try. I mean, what's it going to hurt? I mean, do you think lavender would be good, though, with the lavender flowers already on there? Let me see. I think I just brought the lavender down here. I have this. Let's see what we can do while we have a little bit of time left. But you guys get the gist of it, right? <laughs> Let's try it. It's already beautiful. Yeah, I think I need one more flower on there, though picky here. I know I don't like threes of things, but when you're doing something like this, I don't think two looks right. I think I need three. Let's put some of this in. This has actually a glitter in it, so hopefully... And then we're going to pour some water. Mix that up. you guys after this um live ends over on funky junk inspirations youtube channel she'll be live so make sure you hop over and join her this is very watery i need like a bowl what do i have over here hmm i just had a bowl but it's too big what do i have what do i have here's a jar lid Put that out. All right, so let's try this and see if it does anything. I mean, it's not going to hurt if it doesn't. We've got some paste in here. We're going to dip our flour in there and we'll get a napkin ready just in case I have a mess. Let me move this over. And it soaked that stuff right on up. We're going to have to water that down. Put it in here. I'm going to squeeze it over my trash can, y'all. <laughs> Everybody cross your fingers. Well, I'm going to have to add a little bit more, but look. We have a purple flower, just got to get these sides. So it works. <laughs> it works. 
get this brush and brush it into those back petals. Pretty cool. Now, how much it would stay if it was on something that you would walk. Maybe we need to do an experiment like that one day and put it on some fabric and then see if it washes and stuff with the paste on there. I'm just grabbing the paste out of this lid now and just painting the back. All right, so we have a purple flower and I think that's gonna look great. I do, I do. I'm gonna let that one dry before I glue it. My hands are a mess now. We got about five minutes. And then I'm gonna glue these on and then we'll dry that up if it's if we have time. Oh, that's not the right lid. I like that purple color too. I feel like it needs to be shaped. All right, let's glue. It's a decor piece, so it should, yeah, definitely. If it was on like a pillowcase or something like that, but we might need to test that one day because, hey, I might want to make one. might want to dye some fabrics and make my own stuff to wash. You never know. All right, let's get this one a little bit drier so I can glue. I could have, look, y'all, I could have done it in this pretty light blue that I just got. Why didn't I think of that? That would have been pretty, too. Oh, well. I didn't see it sitting over there. dry enough hopefully squeeze as much moisture out as I can oh yeah it's not really showing the sparkle it just dyed it the color Let's see if you can see it up close I don't see the sparkle in it but still pretty even without the sparkle and another glue stick in here. Got a few minutes left. I'll get a picture of this and you can see it over on my Facebook page. Complete. And if you haven't joined my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and join me next time. I'm gonna try to come live on here a little bit more often. All right, those are a little bit too symmetrical, symmetrical, but they'll do. So there is our project for today. I may go in and add a little bit of the colors in the background just to bring it in um, and some more greenery coming up in the top and the bottom. So this is what I have. Do you guys love it? Oh, it is pretty, isn't it? I do love it. Maybe some more greenery coming up and down. I think that would be, let me see. Let me grab some. I have a few more minutes, yeah. Put some of that. I'm just going to not glue it right now to see how it'll look. Thank you. I really do love it, you guys. I really do. I'm glad I decided to do this today. I almost went a whole different route. <laughs> almost. So I don't know if I want it like this or if I want, I don't know if I like that or if I just want to add a little bit more coming out on the sides. Thank you. All right, we got one minute and Christy should be hopping on. So go on over, look in my description and you can click on her link and go right over to her page. I think I like it better adding a little bit more in 
So I'll post pictures over on my Facebook page. I know. Well, I used to have a cross hanging in my living room and I sold it. So now I can just replace it with this one. <laughs> you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope that you'll join me over here on YouTube and over on my Facebook page. And you guys um, have a great Easter weekend and I love you. So hop on over to Christy and I'll see you next time. Bye.